Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be carrying on my series which is talking about which of these SEO keyword research tools are best for keyword discovery. I've already done a series of videos that are talking about the keyword composition score but I think another really important thing is how you find out, how you discover the, the topics that you can uh, write about. So today I'm using SEMrush versus KW Finder. I'm using KW Finder as the base because that is the tool that I'm currently subscribed to and I'm using as my main tool. Um, and I'm also, you know, the the plan I'm using is up for renewal in August. So making these videos is also helping me to think about what I, you know, whether I'm, I'm going to carry on with KW Finder or whether I'm going to move on to um, something else. So this, uh, so SEMrush have the keyword magic tool, an easy to use keyword research tool that provides all the keywords you need to build your most profitable SEO or PPC campaign. Okay, so saving for retirement. You can see that I already have this up on here on the KW Finder app. It found 453 keywords and I, oh, and I'll, I'll I will say as well that I'm using these same four um, phrases in all of these videos that are talking about the keyword discovery. So I think that will help you to be able to compare from video to video. For example, I did another video with Ahrefs and I searched the same things. I think it kind of helps really to have a standardized system for each of the videos anyway so saving for retirement i'm searching in, in america like i said 453 keywords this tool does give you an option to search for auto complete and for questions that will bring you up some more keywords but we're kind of looking more at the related ones in this video so saving for retirement average savings by age average retirement savings by age retirement savings ira savings account retirement money so from what I've seen, I've obviously done this same search on here on other videos and retire with one million. Whoa, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So from what I can see, yes, it brings up 453 keywords. They're all relatively closely related. There isn't anything random in here. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty good starting point. If you were writing on this this topic, you would have a lot of good ideas for things you could write about. So let's see. When we do the same, I think I probably already copied that, but let's do it again in case I forgot. Let's see on the old SEMrush what happens there. Now, bearing in mind this tool is a lot more expensive than KW Finder. KW Finder, you would be paying somewhere between 30 to 50 US a month, whereas this tool, I believe you'll be paying at least 100 a month, something like that. So, you, you know, you would kind of expect this one would do better but it will be interesting to see how it goes so um, you can see here that this time it brought up 2539 keywords okay so that's quite a big difference let's have a look am I saving enough for retirement saving for retirement at 40 am I saving too much for retirement credit for qualified savings contributions how to start saving for retirement best for fidelity funds for your retirement monthly savings for retirement calculator Okay, do I qualify for a time savings contribution credit? Well, that's a good one. When to stop saving? So, yes. I think it's quite clear here that there's, that SEMrush has come up with a lot more ideas and very similar as when I did the, AH, the Ahrefs video. They have also clustered everything, right? So you've got things like the contribution, qualifying, tax calculator so if you click on calculator it will bring up only the things related to calculator so if you are thinking about that exactly you have so many ideas for different calculators you could use and bearing in mind we're using broad match but to me even under broad, ma broad match excuse me it's it still seems like i don't see anything random in here it is all about kind of saving for retirement right um, and then if we go to related rather than broad match, I mean, we've got phrase match, exact match. So there's, you know, there's quite a lot of options here. We couldn't find any, any data, change your database. Okay. 
okay. So maybe this only works for smaller things. But anyway, Broad Match was able to come up with quite a lot of stuff. Exact Match is obviously going to be a lot less. But even for Exact Match, it's got a thousand keywords, which is more than KW Finder 453. And there's definitely a lot of ideas here. Um, okay, so the next phrase we're going to be looking at is going to be learn to sail. Okay, and I'll say as well that it's important that you try to, to test these out for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description for both of these, these tools. I think it's important that you try them out. I believe that both of them have got a free trial. So yeah, it's always a good idea. I mean, this is the whole reason that I am making these videos so I can actually test out a whole range of tools and decide which one I'm going to use for my business. So I encourage you to use the links in the description and do the same thing for yourself. So learn to sail. We're still on exact match and it's brought up 1,655. Learn to sail, learn to sail vacation, learn to sail catamaran, San Diego, Italy. How long does it take to learn to sail? Learn to sail Providence. Okay, learn to sail in Mexico. How can I learn to sail? So you can see these are all quite directly related because it's exact match. Uh, learn to sail here. Oh, so it only brought up a hundred. So learn to sail brought up a hundred. Catamaran sailing school, best sailing school, so learning to sail. So it is all on point. Sailing lessons, cost sailing basics for beginners. Family sailing lessons. Okay, sailing, sailboat, boating lessons, mm. kids sailing school. So it did manage to come up with a hundred quite important keywords, but it's quite insane when you see that even on exact match. SEMrush could come up with like a thousand or one, what, 1,653 with exact. And if you go to say phrase match, that goes up to 1771. And if you go to broad match, that would bring you 2000. So all kinds, yeah, yeah. Family learn to sail holidays. So there's so much more here. So that's crazy. And I mean, if I go on to something like autocomplete, all that is really doing is using the autocomplete from Google. So that will, you know, bring you some more keywords, absolutely. But I don't think we do you're going to get anywhere near close to this kind of uh, this kind of level right so let's just see I'm going to see how many this brings up 228 okay so we've kind of found about 330 with both of those um, those tools whereas here we've got like 2000 we got like way more way more way more okay and like i said it's kind of cool how it helps you to to cluster things all, all all together like this um okay so the next one how to teach my toddler to read how to teach my toddler to read question mark and we're going to copy that See, oh, I'm also doing auto suggest. I mean, Google auto suggest. Oops, I forgot to take it off that tab. It's okay. So, we got broad match. Uh, what have I done wrong here? I suppose it is a long term, right? It's quite a long phrase. So, broad match is bringing up six other phrases. How can I teach my toddler to read? How early can I teach my toddler to read? How to start? my toddler okay let's see let's go down the different matches so this has five obviously exact is going to be less anything for related this time oh yeah so there you go so this time i wonder why on that other one it didn't have related but anyway so how to teach your toddler to read best way to teach reading to toddlers how to teach it to your baby to read so we definitely got a lot of stuff here haven't we how should i teach my child to read early reading for toddlers how to teach preschoolers to read. Okay, 
So we've got 2,000 things. It all seems to be on point. Um, we've got 130 things on KW Finder. Uh, how to teach my ADHD child to read. How to, how to teach my child to read, read a clock. Okay. How to teach my child to read better. How to teach your child your kid to read the clock. Oh, it's all there's a lot of things about clocks. How do I teach my toddler to read? So yes, we got the 130 and the 100 from this tool. So yeah, you will definitely find some important keywords. Okay, so how to how to teach my toddler to read got 700 from related keywords, right? So that's quite a decent amount. Ways to teach a child to read, teach toddlers to read and write, teach one year old to read. So you've definitely got a lot of the important phrases, it's all on point. There's nothing random in there. You could definitely find things to grow your business using this, right? But I but I am certainly seeing that you get what you pay for, right? You're paying here for a bigger database. This is kind of struggling to get to seven, eight hundred, whereas here we're kind of at like two thousand and although it's related the there is there isn't anything here random like way off topic this is all on topic stuff so to be honest you can see that by investing in this kind of tool when it comes to keyword discovery you're kind of investing in a much broader database and well i mean it's very interesting this is you know bringing up something for me in my business right i would happily invest hundreds of dollars a month in content right what well, even thousands of dollars a month in content for my websites i'm more than happy right to do that whereas in the past in the keyword research tools i've you know i've kind of struggled with the idea of paying a hundred a month for something like ahrefs or for semrush but now i'm seeing yes you you are paying 30 dollars a month or 40 for this and yes, the keyword composition scores are really good, like I said in my other video, but I'm now thinking these other bigger, more expensive tools just allow you to find so many more keywords. And by making that investment, it would help you to find more terms that other people are not able to find and things like that. So mm, it's, it is very interesting and it's making me think in my business, maybe I should move away from this and go to something like this and although the competition scores in these for some reason aren't quite as good I can you know it just means that I need to be more careful with the the terms that I'm going to write about that I manually look at the uh, search terms myself to work out the competition a bit um, a bit better but anyway in terms of keyword discovery this is way way better so we have one more best surf spots in the world best surf spots in the world let's see how this does okay best surf spots in the world so we get 36 related keywords best places to surf in the world most consistent surf in the world best surfing waves in the world <clears throat> big wave beaches Biggest wave spots in the world, top 10 surfing beaches in the world, best surfing cities in the world. Whereas here, we're still unrelated. We got like 222. So we've gone from 36 to 222. Surf spots around the world. Where are the best surf waves in the world? Most famous surf spots. Best surfing beaches. Best, best waves. Most popular surfing locations. Countries to go surfing lists where to go surfing so yeah you got way more ideas here haven't you best breaks best breaks in the world oh yeah because uh, when you when, when you talk about surfing waves they talk about breaks don't they best islands for surfing cool surf travel surf top best places to surf in april in july for beginners so yeah you're definitely getting much more here and that's from the related if we go to say broad match okay so that that will give you 36 so what i'm thinking is that something like kw finder is similar to the broad match in this tool but however 
it's very easy for you to click on this related tab and to find things related things a lot of related things very quickly whereas you could probably find these things in here but you just need to search around it search search around them more uh on your self in like a manual way okay so there you go so just let me check i think i've done all my terms yes i have so i'm going to say that semrush again similar really with my ahrefs uh video semrush has completely killed kw finder when it comes to finding the keyword opportunities you know yes if you really can't afford this kind at all it's still worth it for you to get something like kw finder as you can see it's still going to get you a lot of great ideas for you to, for you to make content um around but it really opens up my eyes to, to show you why the people investing in these tools have got such an advantage because you know they have so much more data that they can use so yeah that's just my my opinion right and i am not like the perfect expert in this it's just my opinion like i said i'll leave the links in the description for these tools i would highly recommend that you test them out for yourself to see which one you think is best but for me personally this is really making me feel like i want to go towards a semrush style of tool in the future and invest in that i mean if i'm more than willing right to invest you know like a hundred dollars when i'm investing in articles what is that one large article maybe two small articles why not you know why not invest that in a, a keyword tool rather than in in something like this so that's something i'm going to be thinking about as i'm renewing my own keyword tool and maybe you should do the same so thanks for watching this video and as always i'll see you in the next one